That's just me. I know I'm a little different. That's why I eat so much pig pork feet. Pig feet, right? Because I'm different. What? I'm unique. Mm. Hello, I'm big eater. Look like I'm big feet. See, I'm big feet. It's a pig feet. That's the big eater gonna eat gonna eat you. Look, the pig feet. It's twenty pounds pig feet. Hello, I'm big eater. I'm back. I'm a 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 big eater. I was planning to eat tomorrow, but I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Look, see. Oh, by the way, this is little onions I grew from my garden. See, oh, just a little decoration. This is my little flower I made it. See my little towel, so clean. I don't believe use paper towel so wasting, and also this towel just more classy, right? This is my. Peppermint water. My utensils. My utensils. I may don't need it. I think I make most utensils today. Probably my hands. Ooh. Look. Let me take this away so it's not in your way. See, look the. I was cooking early. This is the small one. I bought from Asian market. Look. The small they already cut the pig feet. The right here, look, this whole thing, look, see, big, nice, juicy. I cook really good. You know what? How did I cook it? Twenty pounds pig feet, pounds pig feet, eight pounds the already cut it. Twelve pounds the big one like this. Then I put um some salt. Green onions, garlic, ginger roots. I put uh three, three apples. See, you still can see some apples here. See, I put apple just just give some flavor because I don't like put sugar. I want to put a real apple, real sugar. See, this is a peppermint. This is a, the stent. Um. Oh yeah, for I put a five. Tomatoes, I cut the dices, the little pieces. Yeah, the five tomatoes. The tomato just give some flavor. Um, six ah uh, six ounce, six ounce the um, mushroom. That's all for flavor, and the hot pepper. Yeah, for half pounds of hot peppers. So I separate for two part. This one pre cut it, the pig feet. See the pre cut it. I cut one part, and the big one another part because this requires requires a different time. This will take a little longer time to cook. Total, you know, take me five hours. I was planning to eat tomorrow, but I'm so hungry. I can't wait. I have to eat. It's pretty late. Let me eat this. Hmm. I grow the onions really good. Hmm. Boom. I can say I'm pretty good cook. Most of the time, I don't spend the time to cook because I have too many other things important to do. So I just don't want to spend too much time to cook because I take hours to cook. Only take me really short, twenty minutes to eat. It's just not worth it, my time. That's why I don't really cook much. Mm. 
I proud myself. I cook really good. Hmm. Pig feet is one of my favorite food, you know, because think about, see the pig, a few hundred pounds, they only have four little feet. So for, so that big body is low feet, so you can think. So how valuable the feet compares the other part of meat, right? The meat is so good, I don't really need any water or anything. I don't know why I put sunglasses. This is really in my way. Just try to be cool. I know America, most Americans don't eat pig feet, but Chinese eat everything. She's a China got long history. Thousands of years, we got so many population. So thousands of years history is hungry. People always struggle to try to find the food to survive. That's why we find anything we can eat. So we don't waste anything. See, America, new country, you got plenty of food. You never, most America never know what hungry mean. That's why America, so many food, they don't even have, they don't, they just think they don't have to eat. See how good I cook? How juicy, right? Actually, I kind of like them. Whole feet, whole, whole pig feet. That's like more tasty. They kind of so small. It's not really chewy. It's just big one, more chewy. <laughs> You know, next time I should put a little more soy sauce and a little more garlic. It'll be a little more tasty. I'm learning. I will try. I will try to do better next time. And try to improve myself. I think this is annoying me. I can't take it anymore. Mm. You know, I'm loner. I like eat by myself. I eat alone all my life. I'd rather eat myself than other people. Because I eat myself, so I don't listen to other people judge me. Oh, you, why you eat so much? Why you eat so messy? You, you don't like lady. I know how to entertain myself. I don't need people entertaining me. I'm a pretty capable person. I take care of my family, my parents. I have a lot of time, I'd rather just leave me alone by myself. Got something to eat, I'm very happy. This is all I need. When I was young, 
So everybody like the food in China. I remember one day, my father cooked pig feet. Only one piece of pig feet. So we have five people in the family. Mom and dad, my two brothers and me. So I have to separate the one pig feet of five people. I remember I only got a little piece like this. Now I just, I see the pig feet. Oh my gosh, so good. Now, I, since so quick to finish this one bite, you know what I did? I just tried to lick every single piece of meat from the bone as possible. Mm. Actually, I did a lot more cream than this. I remember I sat glue piece of bone for 25 minutes. Then my mom knew I liked the pig feet so much. She gave her part to me. Her part probably like, like this. And she gave it to me just a little bit me. I was pretty happy. You know, happiness is pretty easy being happy. Once little kids, like my mom, give me a little extra bone, have a little tiny bit, piece of meat, I was very happy. It's all what you think. Depends. See, they say happiness depends how much expectation you have. If has if you have low expectation, just make you easier, make yourself happy. If you expecting too much, you're never going to be happy. I learned a lot lessons over the time. Don't expecting too much. If you don't expect much, you won't disappoint it. So you'll be happy. Expect too much, you're not going to be happy. For example, if you have one million, you say, oh, I have one million dollars, be happy. When you have one million, oh, how about I have another million? Another, oh, how about I have 10 million? So you're never going to be happy. Like people have a house, oh, four bedroom. Oh, how about extra bedroom? How about bigger six bedroom house? How about a swimming pool? So what? Bigger house is more work to do, more clean. Swimming, why you need a swimming pool? Just go to the neighborhood pool. Go to the gym. I jail the pool so you don't have to do anything. Often um, when I eat, I try to stretch myself same time. See, I put my legs right there on the table. So same time I eat, I'm, I'm stretching. Since I do this kind of position all the time, I'm very comfortable. See my feet right here, see my feet, look. I'm very comfortable. Since my children was young, I always tell them, never cut corner, always do step by step. Same thing the pig feet. If I try to save time, so it's not gonna be juicy like this. So I don't take my time to cook it. That's why it's so good. Often have my friends ask me, so what's your recipe? You know, when we cook, most of Chinese people cook. We never have a recipe when we were young. We don't have something fancy like that. I just learn from my parents. My parents learn from their parents. All experience. If something too much, next time put a little less. 
So when you do so much, you know it. I really don't need any utensil today. It's on my hand, this is my utensil. God gave to me the best. Oh, almost done, not much left. I don't think I will be very, very full today. Next time I have to buy 25 pounds. Mm. You know the pig feet? Very, very good for you. It's really good for your skin. Because I like pig feet so much, that's why my skin's so pretty, right? See, look at my skin. I'm not spring chicken, but I got nice skin, right? Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Look. Nice, right? See? 360-degree angle, look. Low hands, low hands. Pig only got, actually, pig only got four fingers. We got five. He has four. Mm. That's what I do. For example, I'm eating. Same time, I'm stretching. When I'm, when I'm in the elevator, so I'm stretching myself if nobody's here. If somebody see, if other people see, I won't do it. Then they they gonna think, oh, this woman must be crazy. Like in my yoga class, almost every day, before after class, always somebody come to me. They say, oh, Julia, why are you so good? Oh, your pose is perfect. Like like, like somebody do the yoga on the TV. You know what I said? Practice. Nothing come free. Because I do all the time. For example, why am I? Zumba class, between two song, two music, every two dance, you know, they have 10 second or 20 second break. Other kids, they talk, you know, they go to drink water. Yeah, drink water is fine. No, um, I was just stretching, you know, so I try to take advantage every five seconds, 10 seconds. So I just got a habit, so I do all the time. This is me. I know I'm a little different. That's why I eat so much pig pork feet, pig feet, right? Because I'm different. Oh, I'm unique. Mm. I'm getting full. It's not quiet. I think I can eat another five pounds. Next time to five more pounds. Last bite is the best. Oh, mm. wow. Mm. Very nice. Make sure you don't miss much. Oh yeah, just a little piece of apples. Mm. Pretty good. It's a peppermint stance, not eatable, see? Pepper, too hot. Make sure don't miss much, don't miss anything. Mm. Mm. One more bite.
This is my best meal for last couple of weeks. Thank you, my per my pig feet. Thank you, let me eat, eat you. Thank you for watching. Namaste. Goodbye.